so you have done like uh, configuration of your emacs in init.el file so let me open up my emacs first i'm using f11 to get full screen view so if i open up my init.el so control x control f dot max d and init.el you can see it's like uh, pretty huge and uh, sometimes this can get like a little bit messy so we can use the emacs org mode to make it a little bit more beautiful so it will be like convenient for you to see like what you have in this so i'm using two packages for my org mode these are like uh, org bullets and org superstar you can see this over here so if you want you can configure them accordingly so all i do is like uh, use package org bullets ensure they are installed and i'm just adding this configuration hook for them so if you want you can add this to your configuration so without wasting much of our time let's begin so i've done a control x3 to split it into two parts so that it will be easier for me to configure this stuff so in the second buffer i can navigate to this one by hitting control x o and i can do a control x control f to open up my new file so inside dot emacs dot t we are going to create uh, my init dot org so the name doesn't matter as long as it's not like init dot org because if you use init dot org it will replace your init dot el file so please don't name that as init dot org so we have this org file over here so you can see at the bottom we have this uh, major mode is org so what we are going to do is we are going to leave uh, we are going to copy this stuff from here except the package management stuff we are going to leave that over there so alt w to copy and control x o to navigate to other buffer if i do a control y it's going to paste the stuff over here so let me increase the font size control x control plus so you can see it conveniently so instead of these comments i can use or bullets so i'm just going to delete them use a star and space so you can see immediately it changed and for uh, this one also i can use uh, a star and a space and for this one also i can do a star and space so it will give me like bullets which i can use like if i hit tab i can minimize them so it will be like a little bit uh, non cluttered to see so the next thing we have to do is we have to specify this is uh, an emacs list content so for that we can use hash and a plus and we are going to specify like uh, begin underscore src so begin source and we give a space emacs dash lisp so org mode understands this part of the code like this part we have specified over here will be emacs lisp and we need to end like we need to tell uh, org mode like this part it ends so we specify something like uh, hash plus and end underscore src so this begin src and end src end src are in uppercase i'm sorry so you have to be specific you have to type it exactly as it is and i can hit a tab to minimize that now i can go to second one hit tab and i have to add begin src and end src for this also so similar to this we are going to copy every package from here except the package management stuff and add it to our org file over here so when while you are doing that you can hit tab to minimize this stuff and one thing you have to like you can do is you can leave the custom set variables because it will be set automatically every time you generate your config so you don't need to copy the custom set variables under your emacs so i have done like adding the contents to my 
new myinit.org file so you can see like uh, for every file i have done like this begin as rc max lisp and i have specified the lisp uh, like lisp commands in the middle and i have specified end as src after that so i've done that for like pretty much every package i have installed so you don't need to add the package management setup you don't need to add this required package like the package management stuff you can leave it over the as it is so let's delete this stuff apart from the package management setup i'm going to delete everything inside my init.el file including the custom set variables because every time i load emacs it's going to be like uh, every time my init.el is uh, compiled it's going to be generated automatically so after that we need to have a way uh, so that emacs will understand uh, we are using this org file as our source for our init.el so for that we can use org dash variable and we can specify or people load file and we need to specify the file like the command for that so expand dash file name and after that inside quotes we are going to specify the name and the location to the file so for my case it's located inside my home directory inside my home directory dot emacs d inside my dot emacs d i have this file called myinit.org and i'm going to close the quotes double quotes and i'm going to close this and if i do a control x control s it's going to save my init file so let's exit out of emacs control x control c so save changes yes i need to save them now if i open up my emacs again you can see it's like same as before but the only difference is we have our init configured under this init.org so control x control plus so if i want to like minimize everything i can hit tab with the bullets if i do something like if i do hash plus um begin underscore src emacs lisp and if i specify and source the contents inside this are going to be uh, and hash plus are going to be treated as uh elisp commands so open a bracket plus and two and three or something like that and if i do a control x control e you can see down at the bottom you can see like the output of the file is five like output of this command is five so that's what you are doing basically so that's pretty much it so if you haven't got like control x control f dot emacs d and init dot el You can see these are the lines which i have added if you haven't seen it clearly before these are the lines i have added org dash babel load file expand file name and i've specified the path to the my init.org so previously i told you like uh, if i open up my file manager why you should not name your file as uh, init.org because if you open up dot mm, emacsd you can see we have this my init.el so what this does is our org file will be compiled to my, uh, the same name with an dot el extension so we need the init.el file for this setup for our package management setup and my init.el contains whatever we have inserted inside our my init.org so if you use the same name it's going to replace our init.el and you may have some issues so that's that i hope uh, this one was helpful and i hope you all have a wonderful day